What is up, you guys? It's your girl Genuela. Back with another video. I'm back on your screen. So today we're in my bathroom, and I'm basically gonna do uh, my curly hair routine. So some of you guys have been asking me what do I do to get my curls, to get the volume, to do this and that and that. Right. So today I'm gonna be answering all your questions while basically doing it and explaining why I do this, why I do that, why I do that. So it's time to do my hair. It's time to do my hair, there's no pattern, there's no curls, there's no shine, there's no nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, this is what we're dealing with right now. And we're going to change this completely. Because no, 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 no. So, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture Gel and the Shea Moisture Smoothie, which those two are work beautiful on my hair. And they hold my hair, like my curls, for a very long time. The first thing I do is part in my hair. So I take half of my hair and I put it up. And I do a little bun to take this out of the way. Like this. So now I have two pieces to work with. Nice. I've never brushed, never brush, comb, detangle, whatever you want to call it, with dry hair. That is going to rip your hair out. So do not, do not. If you don't have a little spray bottle thing with your hand or wet your hair, but do not do it. Do not do it dry. So I've got my little spray bottle on. I'm gonna spray both sides. To make sure I can detangle it nicely and then I use um, this type of comb is very wide and it helps to actually detangle your hair very easily I use it when I'm in the shower or even when I'm out and I always start from the tip to the head to never go from up down we do we do it that doesn't you're never gonna get out of it so we always start from the bottom and make our way up so we can free the way for all those knots to go. So we do it gently, piece by piece, like that. So we've got this part detangled and now we're going to move on to this one. My hair works better when it's down, not soaking, but when it's down. So I always have to go back because it dries really quick when it's not soaking. So go back a bit. And before I put my oil, I go back again and detangle. Now you see, because I started from the bottom all the way up. Look, look how easy it goes through, you see? So, just make sure all the tangles are gone. Gone! So, lately I've been using almond oil. <coughs> um, almond oil is really good for softness and for shine. So, if you are lacking a bit of shine and a bit of softness in your hair, always go with almond oil I, but you have to be very very careful when you use oils if you use too much oil your hair is going to be very heavy and it's just going to be all the way down and it's going to be like very very greasy right we do not want that we want the finishing we want softness we want shine but we don't want greasy hair so i just add a little bit I just wanna be happy, and happy that and i always start from the tips upwards because as i said we don't want to make our hair greasy but we don't want to make our scalp be greasy either no 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 so now that i have my oil in i'm going to go in with the sheer moisture um, curling smoothing enhancing smoothie so I really like the texture of this um, it's very soft 
it's like a butter kind of it's like a smoothie basically that's why it's called smoothie so i only get this much i don't get that much and then i spray it around and that's how much i'm gonna put on both like each side so i start i make sure i get right to the root of my hair because they need to be moisturized as well making sure every inch is covered and then we work our way down to the ends same with this side so you know you have enough product if you squeeze your hair and there's like a wet sound if you have that sound then you have enough product in your hair and it's enough it's damp enough it has enough product do not go in more if you start going like this and there's product coming out from every inch you have too much darling you have too much so i have enough product i have enough water in my hair done now what we do what, what i do is to make sure that all the product is going throughout all my hairs and brush it again I brush it out make sure all that product is spread out if I keep looking up it's because basically my viewfinder is right there and that's the mirror I'm using right now so I'm sorry so now I'm sure my product is everywhere right so when I finish with this section it goes back it goes back now i'm going to bring down my hair and i'm going to divide it again like we did with the first half and usually sometimes when i'm in a rush or i can't i don't have time then i'll just work with this whole part and do this but when i have time like now and i want real definition i want to make sure that every single hair is covered I divide it in three and then two. So, so I'm gonna put my hand through like this. Oh, okay. So that's gonna be one part. I'm gonna come again and I put my finger through. And this is gonna be my other half. And then this is gonna be the little bun. Yes, I look weird. I know I look weird. But this is how we're going to have to work. So, I also, I might do a video when I use um, Curls. Curls is another beautiful product that I use. I use the Blueberry um, Curl Control Jelly and the Blueberry Bliss Cream, which is amazing so i'm basically going to repeat the same process exactly the same process that i did on the bottom side and i'll be back when i finish this side all right so i have this um section done so nice so soft Ooh, and that's what. now we have a little part to do which this part is basically going to frame your face What? It actually broke. And this is one of the. Oh. Right, so this part work. To find. Please, 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 do not turn me now. Please. I'm trying to film a video here. Please, sir. Oh. Got this part. Um, okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing to this part. Now I try to make this part the best because this is what's gonna be framing my head, my face, and I don't want to be looking ridiculous. Make it your light. really really need to trim these these ends i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i have to do it because this is not working for me i don't wanna waste what's left 
as well when i cut my hair it's going to look so short but it's not even that it's just like the slightest bit i cut the, the curls like come out more curly if you get what i mean so it's going to look shorter because it, it rises up right Go beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Starting to get shape, starting to get form. Right. So I'm done. I'm done putting the the, the oil and the cream. All of this is done. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my comb again. And brush whatever this is called. And I'm gonna do the same thing as brushing it. Tangle it and not always in an upward motion. Now, <clears throat> the way you get volume, you go sideways, right? So when it falls, it's gonna fall like that, right? Like this. If you start brushing down, your curls are gonna go down, right? There's no definition. It's gonna be flat. But if I start going like this. I'm gonna start seeing a bit more definition, a bit more volume. Sorry, you see what I mean? So, I have everything done, all good, all nice, all sweet. Now, I'm gonna go with my denim brush. Now, this is for defining your curls, it's very really good. I highly recommend it to anyone who has curls, maybe hair, whatever that has a pattern. Do not detangle your hair with this brush. It will rip out your whole hair. Do not. Just to the fact of your curls. So I do the same thing that I did with the pink one. I do with this one. So I go back and I start the fight. Now there's so many ways you could use this brush but personally I just do this. I don't need to do anything else. Other girls literally like put it down and then spin it while taking it out. Up to you how you want to use this. I just need to do this. So now we have the gel. The gel. The gel. The gel. Let me just cover this oil because I don't want to spill the oil down the drain. Right. So we're gonna go in with the gel, 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 gel. Look at it, admire it. This is what I'm gonna be using. So <clears throat> I'm about to finish this as well. Okay, so I only get a little bit now. I build my way up depending on the look I want because if you put a lot of this gel, you're gonna have that wet hair look. Right? It's not gonna have. It's gonna have a lot of definition, but it's not gonna have volume. So why do I go like this, right? that's how I do it I don't really go like that when I'm squeezing in here I just brush it in especially the front back and the inside okay. now because I'm going like this the rest stays on my palms all the gel is still on my palms that's when i start to scrunch when i start to scrunch all the products from my palms are going to go into the hair so i go lightly scrunch nicely do not scrunch to the point that your hair is ends up in your hand right lightly and then i go again now i'm squeezing and i don't hear that sound water water is needed so go back a little bit otherwise my hair is never going to dry today <coughs> like that that's it here yeah. now I hear it right, so this is what I mm. now I let this sit the gel to sit for like 5 minutes and if I want to I will continue my day with my hair, my wet hair and just wait until it actually dries which is going to take hours other times i dry it a little bit with my diffuser and then i'll let the rest air dry but i make sure that my scalp 
is dry. Right. So, um, I'm back. It's been more than five minutes. Um, I went to eat because I was hungry, so I had to eat because otherwise I would not continue with this video. Diffuse it a bit to try and give my hair a bit more volume because I can tell already it's not going to have too much volume. So, I'm going to basically start diffusing. And this is basically how I do my hair. So it's still a little bit, little bit, little bit where <clears throat> there is more volume to it, but I'm just gonna leave it to air dry. But basically that is the routine I do for my hair. So that's all I do. And now I just let it air dry and then the curls come back to life. But as you guys can see, it already is, it's nice and curly. Let me try and I'm just gonna flip it over so you guys can see the definition of my curls. You can see, you can see. Can you see? So this is basically what I do with my hair. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know down below. And if you're new and you're not one of my babetches, you already know what to do. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And for those babetches that are already in the family, and see you in the next one. Bye.